Good morning, everybody, and happy Rosh Chodesh. The month of Nisan is officially here. I want to share with you what is absolutely, has to be one of my top five all-time favorite stories. You've probably heard it before, but it's amazing. I'm going to tell it to you anyway. This story took place exactly on this day, the beginning of the month of Nisan in 1945. World War II was almost over, not completely over, and there was a great Hasidic Rebbe. His name was Rebbe Eliezer Zusha Portugal, but he was known as the Skolener Rebbe. And he was in a displaced persons camp in the town of Chernovitz. And all of a sudden he realized Pesach is coming and we need to do something about make, making matzahs for Pesach. So somehow through the black market he was able to get some wheat together and he was able to start baking matzahs. Now of course the supplies were very limited. And he was able to bake a certain number of matzahs and he sent out word to the people, of the, the Jews in the area and said, listen, anybody who wants to come can come and take three matzahs because that's the minimum requirement of what you need for the Pesach Seder. Come take three matzahs, but no more until supplies last. So people started coming, knocking on the door, collecting their three matzahs. And then a week before Pesach, the son of one of the other great Hasidic rabbis, who was known as the Vizhnitzer Rebbe, or the Seret Vizhnitzer Rebbe, Rabbi Baruch Moshe Baruch Hager, came, and his son came, and he said, look, I know you said three matzahs per person, I get that, but my father has a special request, he would like six matzahs. So the, uh, the attendant, the Gabbai of the of, this, of the Skolana Rebbe said, I'm sorry, but the rules are three matzahs, that's it, no one gets any more. Meanwhile, the Skalena Rebbe heard what was going on at the door and he came out and he saw what was happening. He said, you know what? This is a very special person. His father's a great Hasidic rabbi. Give him the six matzahs. And he did. And this continued and finally supplies ran out. One day, just before Pesach, I think maybe it was the day before Passover, there was a knock on the door and it was a woman. And she said, I've come to the Rebbe to collect my matzahs. And the attendant, the Gabbai, said, I'm sorry, there are no more matzahs left. They've all been given away. And again, the Rebbe heard what was going on. He came to the door with three matzahs. He said, he said, look, take my matzahs. And she started crying. This woman had lost everything in the war. She had lost her husband. She had lost her children. She was all alone. So the Rebbe gave her his very last three matzahs, and she left. And his attendant turned to him and said, Rebbe, what are you going to do for the Seder? What do you have no matzahs left? He said, it's okay. She needs it more than I do. Fast forward the next day. It's just before the Passover Seder begins. And there's a final knock at the door. And it's the son of the Vishnitsa Rebbe, Moshe Hager. And he comes and he's holding in his hand three matzahs. And he says, these are from my father. These are your matzahs for you, for your Passover Seder. He said, what, what do you mean? He said, my father said, I know the Rebbe. I know the Skalena Rebbe. There's no way he's going to keep any matzahs for himself. He's going to give away his very last, his own matzahs to somebody else when somebody comes to the door because there's no way he's going to be able to keep them for himself. And he wanted to make sure that you also had matzahs for your Seder. So these are from the Rebbe for your Seder. And when I think about that story, I think about opportunities that we have right now. A lot of people are going to the supermarkets and buying everything they possibly can for Pesach or for whatever because they're worried that they're going to run out. You know what? Go to the store and buy something today and give it to somebody else. Think of an opportunity to do a chesed. Think of a way to help another person in these challenging times. People are, who are alone, people who may not have everything that they need, people who are filled with anxiety. Think about who those people are in your life how you can reach out to them, how you can help them, how you can do a kindness for them. This is the month of Nisan, the month of redemption, the month when the Jewish people left Mitzrayim, and the month when the final redemption will take place. Everybody should take advantage of these holy, awesome days. Have an amazing day, an amazing month of Nisan. Please stay in touch. Keep, stay involved with our classes and our programs. Call me if you want any personal guidance or discussion. And wishing you all a Chodesh Tov, a beautiful month.